Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. Now, um, I recently did a video on custom crafting V2, and I'm just going to update that because a lot of people were actually kind of complaining that doing the block data commands uh, is actually quite difficult, which I mean, yeah, it is, but that's kind of the nature of the beast. However, after seeing um, Adrian Breitmoor's uh, V4, custom crafting v3 which was kind of a response to my custom crafting v2 um, he actually used the test for block or actually the test for blocks to create some custom uh, recipes or not really custom recipes but i mean go watch his video it's very very cool and clever um i've got it in the description but anyway so i'm now using a small part of his mechanic uh, to make it a little bit easier for you guys uh, to do this. So I'm I'm presenting you guys with um, Custom Crafting V4. Now I've set up a couple of recipes just so that I can uh, kind of exp show you guys, you know, explain to you how that works. So for example, if I put fire, fire, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, if I put fire over there, um, and one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, uh, fire over there, and I then create a, uh, like a chest plate, like so, okay, you'll see that I now have a fire-baked chain chest plate. Now, the only drawback of using this method is exactly what you've seen now. It kicks me out uh, after I've made it. So, for example, if I use a novice blade and I use some po uh, poisoned oil, okay, you'll see that, um, you know, I now have, now have a poisoned blade. Okay, if I, for example, put, uh, what was this recipe, diamonds like so, and I put stone like so, and you'll see now the one little flaw in this design. Okay, um, oopsie, if I now take that, you'll see I now have diamond ore. Okay, so this is the only flaw in this, situ in this, uh, this new design, is that when you actually select or get the recipe correct, it kicks you out and it'll drop whatever's in your hands. So let's go and have a look at how that actually works. Okay, so um, where, is, where is my, uh, hello? Are you gonna load? Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so it's above me. So um, the way this actually works, it works pretty much not exactly the same. <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay, so I have basically three command blocks. Okay, so let me just uh, grab a sword because I've got a habit of breaking these things. Okay, so what the first command block does, okay, it tests that that um, this, uh, dropper that I was at before Okay, so if you'll see, it looks for this exact coordinate. Okay, it looks for that dropper, and it's comparing, so it's test for blocking that um, that particular dropper with this dropper over here, okay, which is your recipe. If it finds, if it successfully finds it, it'll output a signal into, okay, this is an invisible block, because you guys were wondering about that as well. Uh, it'll output a signal into this block, which will then clone this block over here which is your um your 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 end result into that spot where um the other the the custom crafting dropper is okay doesn't that make sense so test to see if that dropper uh, is exactly the same as that if it is it'll then copy this dropper to where that one is. This is the reason you get kicked out because I'm actually changing the block instead of just updating the data. And then this over here is just a normal, you know, play play sound uh, anvil. Now, as I said, I'll probably not quite do it this way. Um, I'll probably just use the result here. I'll actually output um, or change that this command block over here to still be a um, uh, a, a block data update instead of a clone okay but if you want to use it in this way this is perfect because if I wanted to do a custom recipe so you'll see for example here is the uh, diamond so if I do you'll see I've got a diamond ore over there and over here is I need a novice blade and I need a uh, poisoned oil the other thing about this as well is it, it needs to be an exact exact match so if for whatever reason I have a, uh, a novice blade and I actually hit something and it gets damaged it will no longer be the same so you will need to repair it afterwards now um, the reason this is oops I shouldn't have done that oh, never mind the reason this is a, a better way or, or a easier way of doing it is that I can very very quickly create a completely new custom recipe so let's just take any kind of block so let's just take something that is not normally available in uh, Minecraft so let's say what shall we do what shall we do what shall we do let's say we want to craft 
for example, okay, what do we want to craft? Let's craft a, um, so do we have an end? So let's let's just do this. You can't actually craft an end portal. So let's let's make a end portal. So we're going to need uh, end portal. We'll need an ender eye. So let me just get a couple of those so that I I can recreate the recipe. Uh, we need ender eye. No, let's just do ender pulls. Okay, ender pulls, and we'll do some end stone. Okay. So I'm going to craft the recipe by just removing this. Okay. Uh, and and just to show you that I don't have this recipe anywhere else. Okay. Um, as you can see, it's I don't have this recipe anywhere else at all. So we completely custom creating this recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a uh, ender pearl up there, uh, and we're going to put some end stone like so. Okay, so that's going to be our our recipe, and then the result it will then be a end portal. Okay, so that's it, end portal, and this is the recipe. So if we now go back. Uh, to our little uh, spot. So let me just quickly get get there. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da if we now go back to our crafting spot over here, uh, if I now craft that recipe, so if I now do the end stone like so, and I put the, let me just put one end pull, and I put the end pull like that, you'll see I now get an end portal. Okay, so it's a very, very easy easy way to very quickly create some very very advanced crafting recipes um, if you you wanted to do it that way okay cool so this is a uh, v4 I'm actually not really wanting to call it v4 because um, yeah I, I don't like the idea that it kicks you out when it clones the block but it's it's an easy way of doing it personally for this map I will be using uh, the the block data uh, update right so I will actually be updating that um, using using that instead of the way it's being done currently uh, let me just really check something over here what did i do here uh yeah never mind so yeah i'll be using the block data um i might actually just use the custom recipe i will still keep so it, it checks to see and then it'll just give me whatever by updating the block so i'll actually be removing this top la layer from here cool guys thank you very much for watching and as always i will check you all later